Hi guys, welcome back to more episodes of Dark Matter. We're on to episode 3 of season 3. So that last episode um, has now enabled the crew to get the blink drive back after attacking the Yoshida station. And amongst them with that episode with 5 was her having this neurological problem because of using that neural device so often. We got a, a look into her past, into her memories that have now had to have been removed and wiped just as she was about to find out that she has a relative that she has a sister that she doesn't know about just as she was about to tell her but she's out there i don't know how she's going to find her or if that's even feasible um so anyway we're just going to carry on see where it goes from here this is episode three this is Captain Lars Darrow, commanding officer of the Cepheus 5 Security Detachment. This is a Traugott colony. They're powering up weapons. Defensive protocols prepare for aerial assault. Damn. Another ship just dropped out of FTL, and it's open fire. On the Ferris Corp ship? No. On the nuke? Yeah. Damn, you are about to be a blowhead. The ships are exchanging fire. The Ferris Corp ship is jumping to FTL. They're gone. It's gone. Cepheus 5, this is the Raza. You're welcome. <laughs> Figured it was just a matter of time before they set their sights on us. Well, fortunately for you, we were in the area when they did. Tabor Kalchek. He was with a group who recently found refuge here. Yes, we took in a large group of displaced citizens a couple weeks ago. Great. We're sending a shuttle down to pick him up. When I said we were sending down a shuttle, I wasn't asking for permission. No. What do you want? We're here to pick up a friend. You with Trow God? No, we're not. Then how'd you get here? You're telling us security just let you fly right in? Oh, right, the amnesia thing Tabor told me. Adrian Morrow, Tabor's former assistant. Former? Even huh? Tabor's... Yep, gone. As soon as the war started, cashing his savings and just took off. Left me a goodbye message, his place. Well, you did save all these lives, so there's that. Friends of yours. Friends? Doesn't know. Tell me you don't recognize who they are? Are the baddest of bads. The deadliest of dead shots. <laughs> this galaxy's most notorious. Sorry, too much? <laughs> okay. Hello. We're the crew of the Raza. The Raza? That ring a bell? Where is Han Shurikan? Off world. She's meeting with General Caius. Really? Respectfully, Masaki's role. Her emperor? is perfectly capable of protecting himself. It's obvious there's no love lost between you two. Masaki and I hold very different opinions on many issues. I heard about the loss of our research facility and the mm. blink drive. Mm. Your former friends have hurt us. Trial guys all but abandoned this facility and the guard station here because they're too busy with the war. So I've convinced the workers to take advantage of the situation and proclaim their independence. This has been a Chagat operation going on 30 years. Put up with a lot over that time. We have the bodies, but they have more guns, and that's the problem. Wouldn't be if you don't attack them. Better safe than sorry, I say. There's nothing safe about picking a fight with a superior enemy. Well, that's no. <clears throat> where maybe you can assist us. Oh, really? Here we I'll go. Just take out that garrison with your shuttle. Why don't we wait and see? This is not our fight. And what she means is... We're not fighting your battle for you. I am not signing on for this. I'm not saying we can win, but let's not take anything off the table just yet. We're not going down this road. But this is exactly what we've been talking about. This is an opportunity to, to help, to do the right thing. And then what? Watch it blow up in our faces again? The colonies we help now will be in a position to help us in the future if we should ever need them. Supplies, information, safe even. In this case, munitions. Oh, I mean, oh shit. I know you're in the middle of the war. I can hold the war. We told them this equipment was unsafe. We asked them for a safety upgrade and they refused. Someone planted explosives. Oh. Trogat was gunning for Zem. Well, Works. they got him. Yeah. Uh, see, th this, is why, this is why she doesn't want to get involved because it's tip for tap between the two of you, clearly here. And that may have been them, that may have not been them. But you're all both both sides are going to give an whatever adequate response every time something happens. It, it's a powder keg, isn't it? You're not prepared for this fight. You're outgunned. You said as much yourself. So what do you expect us to do then? Wait for them to hit us again? No. Do 
do you know it was you that? Find a way to end this without bloodshed. Because I can help you get one, but not both. Not the other. So no. you suggest we do that? Go talk to them. You're telling us to go over there, trust them. Not That's to how it starts. It's called a treaty. To talk? Not you. Me. The crew of the Rise are just stopping by to pick up a friend. We should have blasted you out of the sky when we had the chance. Look, I'm here to help. Sure you are. Whether you want to admit it or not, you and your security team are screwed. Now, there's two ways this can go down. You can dig in your heels and fight for a corporation that's abandoned you, <laughs> or you can let me in a talk. Either way, this colony is declaring independence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. How's it going up there? Any closer to fixing the blink drive? No, I'm afraid not. The damage right. it suffered was extensive. What does that mean? A portion of the ship's database has been quarantined. Why? I'm not sure, but I am running a decrypt program in an effort to force access. In fact, it appears to have been intentionally isolated from the ship's more sensitive programs. So what are you saying? Somebody did this on purpose? Yes. He was their leader. You wanted him out of the picture. We're a security contingent. Our job is to protect Trial God assets, and that includes those workers. Yeah. Trial God doesn't care about you. Or this damn colony. Now forget reinforcements. They couldn't even be bothered to extract you. You agree to lay down your arms and walk away, and we'll guarantee you safe passage off this planet to the closest neutral space station. Show mercy now so that later, when this war is over, they'll be more likely to seek out a nonviolent solution. And in what reality would a corporation even bother negotiating with a colony? Show you can govern fairly, and it will go a long way toward convincing others, like the GA or the League of Autonomous Worlds. No, it's a matter of convincing the rest of my people. Well, I think you really should. Reputation may precede you, but it's a long way from reality. You're a good man. No. If this all works out, after the war's over, I'd like to buy you a... Drink. He had actually gotten somewhere. And Why are we going to stop beating each you. other over the head with sticks? I need you to calm your friend down. She's usually the one calming me down, so this is all new territory. Oh. You show up out of nowhere, start telling us what to do? Oh, God. You have no idea what we've been through. We don't know what you've been through, but we do know about dealing with the likes of Traugott. Are you out of your mind? You think I set you up? Told you. You're saying your people it's just happen to be waiting think. out there. Those weren't my people. And here we go. This is how it's tit for tat. Three of them are dead. You come to try and negotiate. They've double crossed you. Now they've killed one of them. Now he's complaining that one of his men's dead. Now he wants revenge. It just it just keeps going and going and going. Convince me. Because if you don't, I'm gonna put a bullet in your head and end you. We should think about it. That would in the best case scenario for those workers. They get their independence and the big bad crew of the Raza add to their rep. Which they could have done. I wasn't playing you. I didn't know. This is why, even small groups, a colony, a scary force, whatever, you need somebody in charge who you may have all, you know, hired guns, you may have uh, loads of bodies, you, you may have a superior force you may not be the superior force but you always need in charge the diplomat the, the, even if it's even if it's on the military side of things you, you need somebody with the experience and and, and the, the not not to have the naivety to realize that violence begets violence and that this tip for tap thing ju just continues to look at it objectively like he's just said we could have just come down here, wiped you lot out, and helped them with their independence. We're the ones who saved the whole colony in the first damn place. Why would I do this? It doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make logical sense. But as soon as you arm people and you get them riled up, this is what happens. He's right. Like it or not, we've been backed into a corner. We need to force the issue. Uh, so who's going to make that particular house go? Me and three. I want to help. And you will. As much as I appreciate the offer. If you plan on taking that garrison, you're going to need the extra body. You're just going to get in the way. I'm former Special Forces, Black Ops, SDC, Stellar Defense Corp. You did read my resume, right? Skimmed it. No. 
come on <laughs> super long. What is going on here with this? Who's planted this? Or is this what she just said for her to look for? The transitions that we're using that. Arm conflicts, they, they just always end badly. No resistance. That's not right. Nothing in the set. Yeah. Count of three. One, two, three. Just him. Mm. No, mm. no. Wait. No, he's trying to tell you something. Okay, why? Rigged. Perfect. How long has Tabor been their handler? Wow, you were at the original crew. Original crew? Yeah. Boone, Rio, Shrike, and Jasper. Wait, Shrike and Jasper? What happened to them? I, I don't even know who they are. I think Borsha happened to them. On your knees. I don't even know what's happened to them. Oh, shit. Round them up. All of them. Let's go. Two, three. Are you there? It's happening. They're taking over the facility. Not to worry. We're on our way. Copy. You son of a bitch. Freeze! You're a scumbag. Five, are you there? Your bodyguard's not yeah, here, is she? What's going on? We heard an explosion. Why? What's going on? The trial guard guards just took the facility. Adrian and I are up on a second level walkway. They haven't spotted us yet. We can see everything that's going on from here. Okay. Prisoners, until the arrival of reinforcements. Prisoners? When we tell you. Sleep, when we tell you. What was that? What if your reinforcements don't come? Yeah. We also want to know who's responsible for the attack on our garrison. We'll trade you for the identity of whoever set the explosives that killed us. You are not in a position to that. make offers. No one else is dying today. Put your weapons down, it's over. Yeah, damn right it's over. Get down on your knees with the rest of them. Can we consider that? Drop your weapons. And then what? It wouldn't yeah, be able to said. respawn from that. Please. Do it. You're no leader, either. We're gonna send them off with the next supply ship. Arrange for the authorities to pick them up at the closest station. Hand the investigation over to the GA. You sure you want to do that? What the hell are you saying? It's one of you. It was one of my people? Uh, it was someone who wanted to trigger this conflict. And they succeeded. We received your message, and we're here to help. They call me the General. Welcome to the Revolution. Don't listen to this, man. He's a liar and a mass murderer. Yeah. He's responsible for the deaths of 10,000 innocent civilians on the height of the Fall Space Station. They're complicit in a system that supports inequality and favors corporate rights over the rights of the workers. Because I fight for the weak, the defenseless, the downtrodden. I fight for the oppressed. You don't belong here. Besides, somebody I wants. Invited. By who? By me. There is. You're gonna need organization. Leadership. And you in charge? That's something that I can give you. Turn him away. How can you ask that of me? He knows better. That's My why. people need help. Who can we rely on when you leave? You might be better off just leaving. At that point, now, I'd leave. Not gonna convince them all. It's wasted on this rather simplistic design, though. You can even see the grain in the wood. Wouldn't wad. you agree? You're complex. I'm hoping we can talk. Where's this come from? Eventually. Eventually? Oh, okay. Oh! I know you. Yeah. Yes, you Marcus do. is... a bit of stuff. <laughs> Hello, android. Rounded up prisoners, and he's good. I don't know. Killing him. Wait, six, wait, six! No. This is the price to be paid for trying to take away our freedom. No. Speak of the devil. He and his people He's just going to make you all complacent. They work as hired guns for the corporations. Now you show them that you're with us now. <laughs> you have to admit that I am the best chance these people have for survival. So don't go stuck. Thank you. About fucking time. Drop him. You heard it. Now! 
now, you go back to the ship and leave. Are you staying? You mean we go back to our ship, don't you? We're not leaving you behind. I don't think of it as leaving me behind, man. I think of it as leaving me to move forward. And I've been talking about wanting to do something that'll make a difference. And yeah, yeah, I'll see. Here's my chance. Oh, uh, it's just goodbye are other then, ways is it? To help. You're right. The Raza can make a difference. You know, become a symbol of hope for these people and others like them. If you're sure about this. Yeah. We'll be checking in on you. He's been uh, wanting to change who he became for a long time. Guess I'm the last man standing. <laughs> do some good. <laughs> Bye. Where are we dropping you off? Actually, You're not staying. So we're kind of hoping maybe we could stay with you guys for a while. <laughs> Who knows what happened to Tabor? Then we may never see him again. But in the meantime, I'm running his clients. I have all his contacts. Whenever you go into a deep sleep, your consciousness gets digitally uploaded into a database designed to keep the mind actively stimulated. Digital consciousness back into her dying body. You transferred it to the ship's database? Well, not Without at first. Telling anybody? I how. I kept it on a separate storage device. You're saying Sarah is alive as a computer program. Well, it's yeah. a lot more complicated than that. She's a sentient consciousness confined to our ship's database. You can neurally connect to her world. <laughs> Visit her if you like. That's insane. Mercenaries, bounty hunters, professional soldiers. Your mission is twofold. Uh oh. Take back what's mine. Uh. And take out the crew of the Razo. Another one hell bent on revenge. There's a lot of revenge going on in this show, have you noticed? A lot of people that can't let things go. Um. I'm not really going to say too much about the colony and what happened and everything. It was a standard, it was kind of like a standard written episode as to how those things play out. There's always a traitor in the midst. What I wasn't expecting is for his former colonel, whatever he calls himself, to turn up. But he was just playing the same cards. Um, and he instigated all of this by having a guy on the inside. But now... That six gone. He, he's felt as though making a difference because he he's he's tried several times to convince Porsche and the rest of the crew that they should be going around doing this everywhere they can, even though it's incredibly dangerous. But because it started this here, he's felt as though the, the best way he can help is to stay here and do precisely what he said he wanted to do and make make a change and and. and like I say, that those those people need a leader of some kind now because they're completely lost and a little bit dim-witted, to be honest. Um, I wasn't expecting this with the computer program with, um, I, I can't remember anyone, what's her name? You know what I mean. Um, how is Marcus going to feel about that? I mean, they, they, they tackled this subject in Caprica a lot. Um, you know, apotheosis, elf when you die you no longer lose your loved ones and they're uploaded and the consciousness is uploaded and a visual representation is, is made into a virtual world that you can visit with that is with the holoband with this is with the neural link because she's only just tied into the ship i didn't know if i had done this and didn't know that was a procedure that they did when they went into long-term status but it's kind of like the same subject matter as to the way that they've done it but I mean, how would you feel? Yes, you get to visit a loved one that's no longer there and it's still in effect is them. I suppose but it'd be 50-50. Some people would love it. Some people would hate it. Some would see it as a violation and against maybe their religious beliefs or they would maybe see it as a technological religious merging of beating life after death I, I don't know that's that that's that's a big subject i'm not going to go into that right now um so there we go we've lost six um three's now got to decide what he's going to do about that and shida has just hired what looks like a load of 
bunch of badass wannabe bounty hunters, murderers, criminals, and God knows what else to seek out the Raza crew and kill him. Because he can't be seen to be weak. Because he's, regardless, he is now a leader. But he's also making the same mistake. It's one thing for him to have gone back and want to try and settle this war. That's one thing, when it's a whole nation or two pla warring planets or whatever. But to just seek revenge because they've, take, they've destroyed his station only because he took the blink drive, which wasn't his to take in the first place. Here we go again. <laughs> right, uh, I will be back with episode 4 next. If you watch this in full length, just check the link in the description as always, guys. And you can head over onto Patreon and watch the full episode over there. Um, I'll be back with episode 4. If you enjoyed the video, by all means, please give it a thumbs up. I try to give as much commentary as I can throughout the episodes these days now, so I don't have too much to try and remember at the end. And if you're not already subscribed... I am trying desperately to try and hit 50,000 subscribers this year. The channel has been running about just over two years or so now, and it's, it would be a big milestone for me. And the only people who can help make that happen is you guys, and I would appreciate it. So if you haven't subbed, it's just a little button. Just, just click it. I will see you for episode four next. Take care. Don't...